centrifugal compressor has a pressure ratio of 4 to 1 with an isentropic efficiency of 80% when running at 15,000 RPM and inducing air at 20 degrees Celsius. The impeller tip diameter is 590 millimeters. Calculate the slip factor of the compressor if airflow at entry to the impeller is in the axial direction. Take the specific heat capacity at constant pressure to be 1.005 kJ per kilogram degrees Kelvin and the ratio of specific heats to be 1.4. Okay, so what are we given? So we're told the pressure ratio is 4 is to 1, so P2 over P1 is equal to 4. With an isentropic efficiency of 80%, so eta C is 0 0.8. It's running at 15,000 RPM. The inducing air is 20 degrees Celsius. Well, 20 degrees Celsius is 293 degrees Kelvin. And we're told that the diameter here is 590 millimeters. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is calculate uh, omega. So omega is uh, the 15,000 RPM divided by 60 multiplied by 2 pi, and that's 1500 and 70 radians per second. We can then use our uh, isentropic uh, formula to calculate the temperature at the exit of the compressor. So we plug in our values. So T1 is 293, P2 to P1 is 4, gamma is 1.4, and E to C is 0 0.8. So when we do that, we get a temperature uh, of 471 degrees Kelvin. Now the power required by a centrifugal compressor is uh, the mass flow times the velocity of the blade exit squared times the slip. And the question asks us to calculate the slip. So we're going to need this. Um, we're going to need this uh, expression. Uh, we also know that the work uh, completed by the compressor is M times the change in enthalpy, which is M times Cp times T2 minus T1. So if this is the work we get out, and this is the work we put in, uh, these should be uh, equivalent. So we're saying MCP T2 minus T1 is equal to MVBE squared times theta. So the M's will um, cancel each other out. So we now have CP times T2 minus T1 is equal to VEB squared times sigma. VBE is equal to uh, omega R. We have omega and R is just half of 590. So VB is 463 meters per second. So now we have all our values. So CP is 1,005 joules per kilogram, degrees Kelvin. T2 is 471, we just calculated that. T1 is 293, and that should be equal to 463 squared times sigma, which is the slip. The slip works out to be 0 0.83.